Hey, what's happening everybody? So today I wanna to do a test with Color's new version 3.0 Alpha for Autopano Video Pro. Now the cool thing about this new update is that it adds a feature called D-Warp and what that does is it fixes parallax issues that you might have in your 360 video. Now just keep in mind that this new update is only compatible with GoPro Omni users. Supposedly the next update is going to support other 360 camera rigs. So let's get into this video. I'm gonna do a few different comparisons between not having D-Warp enabled and then having D-Warp enabled. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we go. We got Autopano Video Pro 3.0 Alpha version one. So I have my six clips here. This was shot on the GoPro Omni and I'm gonna choose this small section here. It's about what, like 10, 15 seconds or so. And um, basically just gonna go to Stitch and I'm gonna stitch using the current selection because this is a moving shot. All right, so the stitch is complete and if we zoom in here, uh, we're gonna see some parallax issues here. Like you could actually notice the stitch. Uh, this palm tree is kind of cut off over here as well and some problems here. So I'm just going with a default stitch. I'm not going into auto pano giga to add more control points to make the stitch more accurate. I just wanna do a default stitch using whatever auto panel video pro thinks is good and then i'm going to compare that against d warp so let's just play this clip a little bit so we kind of see where the errors are so also like up here like i was mentioning and then you can notice diana's head getting cut off here uh her arm is cut off and then once we get ahead closer to these two people walking you'll notice that they kind of cross the stitch and then they get cut off as well so you'll notice that right around here and then you'll also notice it right around here. Now, before you actually compute the D-Warp to fix the parallax issue, if you wanted to, you'd have to enable uh, the correction for the rolling shutter before you use D-Warp. So I'm just gonna do that, and then it's gonna process, and I'm gonna exit out, and then go to D-Warp. So what I'm gonna do next is click the Compute D-Warp, and then it's gonna actually take a really long time to compute that whole uh, that whole thing. So uh, keep that in mind. It takes a really long time to do this and um, I'm guessing maybe in future updates that it's gonna be a lot quicker But right now it is kind of slow So now we have D warp enabled so again We sort of have that stitch line visible on Diana's arms, but it is a little better. So uh, You know if you want to perfect that you'll have to go into APG and then run the D warp function But it does look a lot better now. We're gonna cross these two guys and you almost barely even noticeable that uh, you know they were cut off in that stitch. So uh, I think that did a good job. So here I have another clip, and to be honest, this was not stitched really good because it's it's really tight. We have a lot of foreground and a lot of background. Now the problem with this was that I didn't stick the the rig outside the helicopter far enough, so there wasn't that much overlap between the different cameras in the. Omni rig. Now let me just press play so you kind of get an idea where the errors are. So right here, obviously right up here. And when we get ahead a little bit, we notice like some of the background is screwed up here on this building. Um, but yeah, so that's without D-Warp. Now this is what it looks like with D-Warp enabled. And just remember, I didn't go into APG or anything. It's all default stitch. So, um, so that's what it looks like. I, I feel like it definitely is a little bit better but it could have been a lot better if I actually filmed it properly. And now here I have another shot. You notice that the propellers on the helicopter are chopped off here in the stitch, also here. And then we're also gonna be crossing into uh, two cameras here. So notice our heads get cut off. So let's see what it looks like when D-Warp is enabled. Notice the propellers are fixed, looking really nice and clean and sharp. Uh, we're gonna walk through that stitch again. So when we walk through, you notice it is still kind of screwy, but it, it for being a default, just kind of clicking and going, I think it did a really good job fixing it by itself. And, you know, this could be fixed if you just go into APG and create those control points closer to the foreground rather than the background, because by default, AP, APV is going to just stitch using that background control points. So when we cross over, that's why that error is present. All right, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to cover the new D-Warp feature in Autopano Video Pro 3.0. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet, I definitely recommend checking it out. I got a link in the description. And if you don't already have Autopano Video Pro, I also have a link down in the description if you're interested in purchasing it, as well as the GoPro Omni. Uh, but yeah, 
Hopefully that was kind of helpful, kind of give you an idea of what D-Warp can do. Uh, I'm gonna be playing around with this a little bit more. I wanna add my own control points in APG and then try D-Warp and see if that works a lot better. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you in my next video, bye.